So for today's video, I thought I'd do something a little different. You guys know I'm obsessed with Skims. Like you guys are probably sick and tired of hearing me talk about this brand. So I decided <laughs> for this video, that is going to be the topic. I was like, I have so much stuff. I have so many reviews of this brand that I figured I would just take you guys through everything that I've purchased from Skims that I can think of, show you everything that I have basically in just one video. And this is me just kind of, I guess, ranking everything from my favorite favorites to my least favorites. And especially for you guys to know, like I'm buying all of this stuff, but I don't necessarily like everything just because of the brand. I like certain things more than others. So I'm just taking you guys through the entire list. I have a notebook here. What I was going to do for this was try everything on for you guys and show it certain things are like in the laundry i can't find like my dresses are a mess so what i'm gonna do is go through everything for you and then i'm gonna show you clips of videos that i've done in the past reviewing everything so that you guys can get a visual let's start off with my two favorite categories the first one being loungewear i don't have something from every single category in loungewear but i do have a good amount i either saw a tiktok or youtube video where somebody was saying like at a certain point when you're an adult, you gotta throw away all of those high school and college t-shirts and get actual pajamas and loungewear. And that's what I started doing with this. This is the only loungewear and like PJs that I wear for the most part. So let's start off with the cotton rib because it has to be my favorite, at least for now. The cotton rib tank, it's what started it all for me. I started buying skims a year ago and the first tank top that I purchased was from the cotton rib collection. I have three different colors. I have it in the color bone, the color kyanite and the color mineral i purchased them all in a size small and they fit so great and of course i had to purchase the matching bottoms i do have these shorts these are the cotton rib boxers in the color mineral and i also have the leggings in the color kyanite what i love about the cotton rib line is just how soft the ribbed fabric is now when i think of a ribbed tank top i think of a wife beater and a lot of those end up being uncomfortable or at least that's how they were growing up they weren't the most comfortable they weren't the most flattering but the ones from skims are everything every time that i wear the tank i always get questions about where i purchased the tank top because it just has a different look it just looks so flattering once you have it on the neckline is just a perfect square if you guys are into that it's not see-through you can wash it as many times as you want and it will Will not fall apart the same thing with the bottoms I purchased these both in a size medium they fit great honestly I feel like the leggings give me a little bit more wiggle room than the shorts do though but again super duper stretchy this ribbing is just so soft but you can go softer with her lounge wear I will say though when it comes to the leggings I can't really sleep in them because it's just my personality I can't sleep in leggings period not necessarily these but just in general so I definitely go to sleep more wearing the shorts of course it's all about comfort and you know lounging around and being cute when you lounge around but the colors and the tones like I have not been able to find colors that are just as beautiful as the ones that she has but I was saying that the ribbing and the fabric is super stretchy and comfortable but she does have stretchier ribbed fabric and that's in the soft lounge line now the next three things that I'm going to be speaking on I noticed that they don't necessarily have all of them in stock on the web website and i'll get into that in a second but let's start off with my favorite piece from the soft lounge line and it is the beautiful slip dress i know a lot of people have bought this to go out wear it as a sundress i have not done that and i will not do that i wear this as a loungewear piece around the house for one it is super long and i don't want it dragging outside two i feel like yeah this is nice this is super comfortable this is super flattering on everybody but it's not an outside dress for me it's thin i feel like in the wrong light they might be able to see everything you have underneath for me this is really truly just a loungewear piece i absolutely love love everything about this guy it just hugs your body in the nicest way and i've seen so many people go viral wearing this dress because no matter what you look like it looks phenomenal on you when i tell you this one is so much stretchier it has more bounce i want to say i don't know if that makes any sense but like it has more bounce for sure it's called 
soft lounge for a reason because it's so much softer this one i don't remember what color this was because it was limited edition i bought it last year and they always have limited edition colors in this dress so right now they do also have some more limited edition colors that after a while they're gonna be gone so if you want this dress in any really nice cool different color now is the time to get it this is my favorite piece out of the soft lounge line now getting into my least favorites when it comes to loungewear i'm not saying that i hate them i'm just saying that on my list of all of the loungewear pieces that i have these end up being in the bottom so the soft lounge racer tank and the matching sleep pants i got these both in the color heather gray i got a small in the tank and i got a medium in the pants now these are at the bottom of my loungewear list like i said i don't hate them but they're my least favorites on the list just because of a few different things so let's start off with the tank the tank is so stretchy it is so stretchy and i feel like if i were to have gotten just a regular neckline and not the racer i would have enjoyed it a lot more i can't find that tank top to save my life right now so the area around the neck it is so so stretchy that as I would wear it it would stretch out a lot this top half would kind of move around a lot more than I would have liked then for the sleep pants like I said I got them in a size medium they were so long and I do not mind that at all for sleepwear pants those pants look really really good on so many different people but the sizing I think will confuse certain people because like I said I got a medium in these leggings I also got a medium in the sleepwear pants and I feel like the sleep pants are a lot better here which I don't mind but I know for certain people if you're going for a certain look you might not want it to look too loose or feel too loose this is gonna be a long video you guys all right so moving away from loungewear pieces and getting into actual clothing pieces between the loungewear and the actual clothes that you wear outside they are tied at my top favorite things to purchase from skims so let's just start off with my favorite of the favorites like the top of the tops the things that i will purchase in every single color and it has to be the fits everybody long sleeve tee shirt i have two of them one in the color sienna and the other one in the color onyx stunning everything about this t-shirt is incredible it is super super stretchy super flat super super stretchy super flattering the colors are incredible it just fits so well it's a crew neck but you don't feel like it's choking you you can wear it an entire day and feel like you're not wearing anything at all one of the things that i hate hate about wearing long sleeve t-shirts that fit tight up against your body is when it starts digging into your underarms and I do not have that problem with that shirt at all some people do not like the fact that certain colors can end up being see-through I actually have the two the ones that I have hold on so the fits everybody long sleeve t-shirt I already wore the black one so it's in the laundry this is I think this is the color sienna this one is definitely a little bit more see-through than the black one personally I don't mind if it's a little bit see-through when I wear this I end up wearing the t-shirt bra from skims or I wear one of the bralettes and it just makes everything look so smooth and seamless and that's what I love about everything in the fits everybody line the first two bodysuits that I ever purchased from skims that I wore non stop is the fits everybody square neck and the fits everybody cami okay that was the opposite hold on the fits everybody square neck and the fits everybody cami i've spoken to you guys about these over and over again you guys have seen me wear this non-stop i know these look a little wrinkly right now but you don't have to iron them you don't have to steam them the second you put these on your body it smooths out and it fits like a glove for the both of these i love the neckline they definitely made them double lines especially just because you know they're bodysuits so they have to be a little bit stronger when i want to wear something that i know is going to be nice super lightweight smoothing very comfortable flattering you know you're gonna get compliments no matter how many times you wear it i go for this line it is my absolute favorite now a different top that i really really like i purchased this one and i don't think that it is on the website anymore because i wasn't able to find it if i can find it then i'll link it down below but for 
for some reason it just wasn't coming up this is from the new vintage line this is the super crop right i think yeah super cropped t-shirt in the color desert this one looks really really good as well this one's definitely thicker than fits everybody this one's not see-through at all i love the tone for every single thing that i'm talking about today the tones are really part of what sold all of these pieces but i wanted just a crop top plain t-shirt that i knew would be really really great for the summertime and this one is perfect i wish i would have bought more colors i didn't think that these would end up like being taken down but i really really like this one it's so stretchy the only problem with this one which is why it's a little bit more down on my list is the fact that i was wearing this in the summertime and you know how like if you start sweating under your boobs then it'll show on the shirt it took so long for that to dry up and it was just really really embarrassing so i definitely stick to wearing this when it's not scorching hot where i know i'm gonna be sweating my ass off this with a pair of jeans love oh so the soft lounge racer tank and the sleep pants i saw the sleep pant on the website for like on final sale and then the racer tank i just can't find it on the website at all so i think those two might end up being discontinued i have no idea why maybe they're just being replaced with something else maybe people weren't really buying them as much as i thought they were but another basic that i really really like from skims is the light essential bodysuit i got it in the color onyx now i recently or a couple months ago i did a video comparing the light essentials to the regular essential bodysuits from skims light essentials won by a landslide they're just so lightweight and so smoothing the only downside is the fact that it is not a thong bodysuit it is more of just like a brief so that's why it's a little bit further down on my list but i wear it to work all the time it's not see-through it is really flattering it's really smooth but i will say fits everybody is definitely a lot more comfortable to wear throughout the day than the light essentials those are meant to be more of just like a layering piece but i will not wear those as layering pieces to be honest for the purpose of layering and being like base layer pieces i don't wear it like that at all oh my gosh i started moving down the list and i completely skipped over so many things so sorry about that so higher up on my list is the contour lift bodysuits when i tell you this is my dream bodysuit it is a dream what you see right here right the fits everyone that i just showed you guys what i have wanted ever since i purchased this one was the ability to wear this or have the look of me wearing a bra without wearing a bra because as you can see i can't wear anything with straps the contour lift bodysuit fixed that issue i need to buy that one in every single color because a built-in bra like hello that's gonna be perfect for the summertime and i got the one that i have in the color onyx it makes everything look so good it really holds you in it is pretty difficult to put on i'm not gonna lie but once you have it on it is stuck on your body i've worn it already to go outside i wore it on my vacation in florida it gave me the look that i was really really going for it just has so many different versions of bodysuits it's just like it's hard to pick so if you want something that you can wear out and like it's drop down Dead, gorgeous like stunning the whole package that one is definitely the one to buy i'm telling you guys this is gonna be a long video i have so many things so next is the stretch satin i really really like this as something to wear to go out to kind of make like a subtle statement i've never really been a fan of satin before just because what i've seen in the past hasn't really been as stretchy as i would like but the stretch satin line it stretches as much as you need it to without losing its shape without messing up the fabric it holds you in it looks so beautiful once you wear it on it's definitely something that you can wear if you have a special occasion or something that you can wear just with a pair of jeans it looks good either way and this is definitely something that i'll be wearing a little bit more towards the spring and the summertime i got the corset top i got the bodysuit and i got the dress Stunning. Something that's also in the middle is the sculpting thong bodysuit. I know that everybody has been going viral with this bodysuit because it just looks so good on everybody. It cinches everybody's waist. It just gives you the waist of your dreams, apparently. It's more in the middle for me just because, at least the color that I got, I feel like I can't wear it out the way that everybody else has been. It feels weird to go out wearing something that looks like shapewear. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but that's why it's kind of more in the middle. Then at the very bottom is the Essentials bodysuit. 
I still have it and I have not worn it <laughs> ever since the day that I tried it on for that review. It's just like, what? It's so hard to put on. It just, it's too thick for me. It's supposed to be worn as like a base layer, but I cannot wear that as a base layer at all. It is so uncomfortable. Everything that I don't want, it's in that bodysuit. It feels like compression fabric and I really don't like that. If you do need compression, then maybe you'll absolutely love it. But for me, I just... I can't stand it. We're getting into swim now. So I did make a whole review about the Skims Metallic Swim line just because I wasn't able to get my hands on the regular Skim line the first time around. The second time around, I was able to purchase a set. So from my most favorite to my least favorite, my number one definitely has to be just the regular triangle bra and dipped bottoms. I definitely need to purchase more of these. Like I say with everything, that's one of my favorites. I didn't buy the micro version or anything like that but the one that i did buy i don't know what it is about that top but it just makes you look so good in the chest i'm a c cup it just at least to me it makes me look like i'm a little bit bigger than i am you're able to kind of just scrunch it to make it as small as you want or just you know open it up to make it as full coverage as you want but either way it looks so good which is so weird because i've had this style of swim tops for so many years but nothing has been able to give me the same look as the one from skins i don't know what it is but not only that i bought the marble color and i went into the water and you have not been able to see through at all which was one of my biggest fears it passes that test as well now my least favorite the metallic swim line i wasn't the biggest fan at all i feel like they definitely tried with that one but it didn't it didn't have the same effect as the regular line the way that it cut into my body is i just didn't really like it as much i ended up getting the bikini bandeau topped the dip bottoms the monokini and the mid waist shorts if they just weren't my favorite and i feel like there's a time and a place for metallic swimwear and i i thought about it and i was just like i'm not gonna wear this stuff to anywhere like i'm never gonna be in the mood to wear a shiny swimsuit when i was putting on the shorts which were supposed to be a cover-up it took a little bit to actually get them up and once they got on i didn't feel like it made my bottom half look the best and when things are like that i just avoid them all right now let's get into the bras and underwear a couple months ago i partnered with skims to do a review of their new bras that they came out with and i still wear them all the time for the bras i only have one how many do i have i have one two three i have six bras from skims and i only have one at the bottom that says a lot my number one has to be the t-shirt bra in that review i was saying like now i know why everybody is always like scooping these up and it's always sold out i'm wearing it right now and it's just like do you see how seamless it is and how great of a look it is it is just so comfortable it has a beautiful cup shape it lays flat against my chest you don't have any sort of gapping or anything like that which i hate the more that i wash it and wear it it hasn't changed its shape it has changed the way that it feels it's been consistently the same since the first day that i got this bra so that definitely has to be my number one my number two is the crossover bralettes oh my gosh the crossover bralette was the first bra that i actually purchased from skims and that was over a year ago that was almost two years ago and it's still going strong of course like i say a million times the power mesh on the inside i call it the power mesh i don't even know if that's what it's necessarily called but the mesh on the inside is what does it for me i wear that crossover bralette with this fits everybody top and it looks so good then the balconette the no-show balconette that one's a sexy one and that one is that one's perfect for the days where you're just trying to have a more natural look sometimes you don't want this look sometimes you just want everything to just be free and it is so thin that it really gives you that great feeling but it's perfect for the tops that are more square neck with the strap because the bra is square neck like the straps come out all the way to here which is another reason why i really like that one then the naked plunge that's something that i wear day to day like on a regular day if i'm going out wearing a t-shirt wearing whatever and i just want to be comfortable but held in i don't want any sort of like underwire i don't want any sort of like padding that's the one that i wear it is 
so comfortable it really just molds to your body and i know i've been saying that a lot of these are super comfortable but that's because they are that one has specific molding in the cup section that's supposed to really just mimic the shape of your chest it just makes everything feel more natural when i wear it the one at the bottom of my list though is the triangle bralettes i purchased that one because i thought i was purchasing another version of the crossover bralettes and i didn't understand that there was a difference because it looked exactly the same once i got the both of them and i started comparing i was just like yeah this is not the same and i'm never purchasing the triangle bralette ever again the difference between the crossover and the triangle is that the crossover actually provides a little bit more coverage in the front because it is crossing over the triangle bralette does not cross over so you're a little bit more exposed so i noticed that every single time i wear the triangle bralette i always have spillage and i hate having spillage i hate how uncomfortable it is i hate how it looks on your t-shirt you don't want to look like you're spilling out of your top and it also doesn't have the hooks in the back you can't adjust it or anything so for those reasons that one is at my very bottom of the list and now for underwear i have two different versions of some of her underwears i have the fits everybody dipped thong and i believe the fits everybody brief i had to go with the fits everybody bottoms because those are just like i told you guys like i love fits everybody and everything and the thongs and the brief are so good the softest underwear i've ever tried so stretchy it feels like i'm not wearing anything one problem that i usually have with briefs is the fact that if i'm doing something the briefs end up riding up but for these specific ones from skims that i purchased they stay in place they they don't move they don't ride up the way that you wear them is the way that they're gonna stay these are so worth the money like i'm over victoria's secret i'm over airy i'm over all of that and i'm sticking with skims so i think that's everything i i think i covered everything if i missed something i'm so sorry but as you can see i have so much stuff this is a really long video i think i'm i have like almost an hour speaking to you guys about everything and like i said if i miss something i'm so sorry but i think that i got it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and i will catch you guys in the next video bye